Hey guys, every year it seems like I'm having to replace at least one deep cycle battery, or if not multiple deep cycle batteries on our homestead for the different things that we use the batteries for, the different trailers, the boats, the, the lifts, and what have you. It's getting expensive to have to replace these batteries every year because some of the deep cycle batteries that we use on our property are over $200 a piece. So I decided to start switching them all over to LiPo batteries instead of the lead acid batteries that I have been using because they're not that much more and they're rated for 10 plus years. The battery that we're going to replace today in this trailer is only about four years old and that's about the longest life that I get out of my batteries. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from a lead acid to a LiPo battery. And I'm also gonna show you one thing that I haven't seen anybody else do with their batteries that will make your life a little bit easier and save you some money. So stick around and I'll show you what I do differently with my LiPo batteries. The battery we have here today is a Watt Cycle 100 amp hour battery. Comes with the screws here. And this battery is going to be significantly smaller than the battery that we're replacing today but it's gonna pack a lot more punch as far as watt hours of storage. Now, as you can see, I got a solar panel on my trailer here. These solar panels are a game changer. You'll never have a dead battery. You don't have to worry about charging them in the wintertime. It'll always keep a trickle on them to bring them up to full charge every, every day so the batteries do not freeze. All right, so here is the old battery. As you can see, I already loosened the bolts. This is what I do differently that I haven't seen others do. I put a quick disconnect on all my battery connections so that I can easily take the battery out if I need to charge it or if I need to swap it out or use it on a different trailer. So I've got a battery in this trailer and a battery in the other trailer. If I wanna take the pontoon out and I need the trolling motor and that takes 24 volts, I will just take the battery out of here and the battery out of the other trailer and use that in the pontoon and I won't have to worry about having an extra set of batteries on so it saves me some money. These quick connectors are easy to install. I'll put a link in the description for them. You just crimp on these metal blades and they snap right in. There's a plus and a minus so you can't hook the wires up backwards and the connectors are universal so this connector is exactly the same as this one but they, when they plug in you just flip them around and they work together so they're all the same connectors. They're pretty foolproof. They're good for 175 amps continuous duty. So everything gets this on there and then I also include I also put one of these on there and this is for charging so in the event that we're using something heavily and it's not able to charge up from the the truck or the vehicle that we're using on or whatever uh, you just simply plug the charger into here. So all with the old heavy battery and then with the new battery that weighs less than half of what the old battery weighed. All right so the only thing we're going to put on this battery are these two connectors. We're going to go ahead and just put the wires onto the bolt. All right, so the, the only complaint that I have about them so far is the bolt. It'd be nice if the bolt was a little bit longer. Uh, so if you have multiple ring terminals that you're putting on there, it makes it a little bit easier to get it started, but I think we'll be fine. So they give you two sets of bolts with the battery. It'd be nice if one of the sets was just a little bit longer. So if you had more connections, it'd make it easier. And then a shorter set for obviously if you only have one connection. So now this battery is ready to go. I could easily take this battery in and out if I want to. All right, so now all I gotta do is hook it up and we should be in business. It is as easy as that. And now I have a trailer that I can raise and lower the tongue jack and use the winch again on that was completely useless before. I'll put a link in the description for this uh, battery as well as this crimper. If you're gonna do this connector, you're gonna need a hydraulic crimper to be able to crimp the ends onto the wires and a good wire cutters is also nice to have too. So a link in the description for all the parts that we needed for this project here. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and follow the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.